This video is proudly sponsored by my friends over at Mid-America Fence Supply. So we're out here in the shop and today we are discussing the difference between knucklers and pliers when it comes to um, cutting and knuckling the bottom of a gate or really any chain link that you might want to make smaller. Um, you have to go along and cut and re-knuckle the wire um, at the bottom of a gate if you don't have Ozark Wireworks gate wire. Um, and actually, we're out of that right now um, because it's selling like crazy. Um, there's a lot of uh, local uh, fab shops around here that make gates that uh, really like that. Um, and we don't have any at the moment, so today I'll be using some regular four foot wire and uh, we'll be showing you the difference between um, our knucklers and our pliers. And that will hopefully kind of help give you an idea of just how much time these can save. Um, also with effort as well, it's, uh, they, they really work really well. All right, so here on the uh, tabletop, we have two gates. Um, both are exactly the same size, um, exactly the same length, and exactly the same amount of wire to cut and knuckle. Um, so this first one, um, we're going to do with uh, pliers. Uh, this just kind of represents a generic set of pliers that most people would have. Um, and what we're looking for here and the, reason, the whole reason why you would want to cut and knuckle the bottom of a gate or the gate wire um, is to get it flush on the bottom so that you don't drag the gate through anything, whether it be grass or um, you know some sort of uh, something uh, where the gate opening is. Um, you'd like to have it flush with the bottom so that it can clear the opening as it opens. Um, so to demonstrate this, we're going to be using uh, bolt cutters to cut both. I'll start with this one and then we'll use, um, you know, this pair of pliers here to knuckle over the fabric. And then we're going to grab our pliers. Uh, you wouldn't ever want to leave a gate like this. That would uh, not be great. So. Uh, the idea is to shorten the chain link um, and make it look somewhat like it was meant to be this size. So we just finished up with the pliers. Um, it's definitely doable. Um, I don't think they look quite as nice. Um, they're not really consistent. Um, and if you think about this, let's say you're making a gate on the fly or you don't have it changed yet and you're trying to do it on a job site, um, cutting and knuckling with a pair of pliers down on the ground probably wouldn't be the best scenario. Um, so, you know, you could take that into account. Real quick guys, apologies, but are you tired of your suppliers running out of fencing materials right before your big job? You're gonna to wanna to check out Mid-America Fence Supply. I'm not saying they have the world supply of fencing materials, but they've got a decent chunk of it. All right, so we just got done doing the gate with the uh, welding pliers. That's typically what I use for um, tying ties. I'm a welder and I'm partial to them. Don't blame me. Um, but anyway, so we're gonna do this next one with the um, knuckling tool that you can find at our online store at ozfence.store. Um, and we'll kind of take a look at, at uh, how these perform. Um, I can tell you, cause I've used them before, I really like them um, and it's much faster. And I feel like it's much more consistent as you go along, but I'll let you be the judge. Yeah, so there, 
pretty quick. Uh, definitely a lot less uh, hand maneuvering that you have to do. It's a pretty even flow. Now, of course, this is a pretty small gate that's not very long, um, but you know, if you, if you're like me and you have you you build gates for a living and sometimes they're not always this short sometimes we're making 30 foot roll gates um, that requires a whole 30 foot of doing this so so a tool like this definitely pays off um, now we had these kind of custom made um, to what we thought would be the best uh, specifications um, they've got some really nice finger grooves in here that your uh, fingers can get in and you get a good grip um, and then we've also got the end of this tip um, a little bit longer and uh, that kind of helps especially when you're doing nine gauge wire um, something like this that we did today this is 11 and a half gauge wire um, so in all fairness it's not hard with the pliers um, but it's it's definitely harder when you're doing nine gauge wire um, to do to, to cut and knuckle nine gauge with pliers is not going to be a whole lot of fun um, and we've had to do it before and it stinks so anyway these definitely come in handy when you're dealing with either longer gates or thicker wire so you can find these on our online store at ozarkfence.store um, and that'll bring you to a listing for these, plus some of the other tools that we have for sale that will help make your life easier when building fence. Um, and we can um, ship them out rather quickly. As soon as you order them, we uh, have a guide dedicated in the back to getting packages out and on time. So um, there's that. And then if you're interested in gate wire, um, I'd have to check with Joe. I don't know if we have any on hand, but I know they're getting ready to run a big production run of it. Uh, like I said, I think we sold out of most sizes. Um, it's definitely a big hit. Um, but if you're interested in that, you can either contact Joe um, or you can contact Ozark wire works in Springfield Missouri um, and inquire about getting some of that so I uh, appreciate you tuning in today and we'll catch you in the next one